Not that I'm being skeptical, but like low key skeptical. Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I know I'm a little early with today's video because if you are not new here, you know that I do a monthly workout challenge of sorts, basically something that I get to try that either you guys recommend to me, something that I see that everybody's trying right now because I decided that I wanted to try to get fit, be healthy in 2021. That was one of my New Year's resolutions. However, I am brand new to all of this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still learning as I go and I thought the best way to do that is to just try things. So I started out in January by doing the Chloe Ting 28 Day 2021 Challenge just to see if I would like that and see the results for that. And then in February, I decided to try Lauren Geraldo's treadmill workout, which is a 12 3 30. And this month, I decided to break it up into two different challenges. One, because I wanted to try this first challenge, which is today's challenge, but I just could not bring myself to work out on only my butt for an entire month. Like, I feel like even if I got massive results, I just don't want to only do my butt for a month. So I only wanted to do it for two weeks, which means that there'll be another workout challenge coming for March at the end of the month. But be on the lookout if you're new here, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that video or future videos. Because again, we're doing this every single month and we're trying new things things. And honestly, it's been fun for me. I'm really enjoying it. And of course, it's getting me to work out and it's bringing you guys content. So it's literally a win, win, win. But for the first half of March, I decided to try Daisy Keach's bubble butt workout. Now, this isn't necessarily a challenge. She posted a video in quarantine about how she's up keeping her bubble butt, blah, 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 whatever. Basically her bubble butt quarantine workout routine. And she kind of went in depth of what she does. And I've seen a couple different YouTubers like try her workout again, probably for about two weeks. So I decided I wanted to try it for two weeks because again, if it works, it'll give me a nice bubble but and I am here for that. But there's also a side of me that does these challenges and tries things because I truly want to know if it works. Like I am just a regular person that in all of my other videos and all the other workout challenges, as well as this one, I don't change anything else in my life. So I haven't changed what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. I'm not a fitness guru. I'm not a workout buff. Like I'm just doing this as a regular person to see what the results are. So I like to preface these videos by saying that yes, I have not changed anything else in my life. I eat pasta every day. I'm not the healthiest as far as with my diet, my water intake. Like I'm just a regular person trying to get healthy slowly but surely so if you want to join in on the journey try these fun workouts with me you can follow me over on instagram because i like to update you guys every morning on like what i'm doing and how the workout went for that day and as i learn and grow in this like field of course i do want to share those tips with you guys so i have posted a video even on how i'm like starting my fitness journey as a beginner which is i think full of some really good tips for a beginner someone who doesn't know what they're doing because <laughs> that's me so if you guys also want to check that out i will post my other workout challenges as well as that video down below in the description box if you want to watch those first or after this video now since this challenge was specifically a butt workout i did not not weigh myself or anything like that because I personally do not think I'm going to see any difference as far as like my body composition. If anything, this is supposed to just be a bubble butt workout. So I really am only expecting to see changes in my butt and maybe like my thigh-ish area. So I do not have a beginning weight for you guys. However, I do have before pictures here that you guys can take a look at that are just like the stagnant photos. But let's also take a look at my before video, which is actually the after from the 12 3 30 February challenge. So I did Daisy Keach's bubble butt workout every day for 14 days. I didn't take any days off or anything like that. Just 14 days straight went into this. I will say for the first week or during this, I was still doing kind of a 12, 3, 15. So I would walk on the treadmill at 12 and three, like I did in February, but only for 15 minutes this time, either before or after my workout, just cause I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to keep doing some of the cardio. However, I will say the second week I kind of fell off. So I was kind of working out outside of this bubble butt challenge. But of course the main thing that I was doing these past two weeks is just this bubble butt workout. So let's see how it went. Good morning guys and happy day one of the Daisy Keach bubble butt challenge. But we're just gonna dive right in. Essentially her challenge is just a whole bunch of things which I already like broke down from her video. It's not like a different video every day. I'm like in my Chloe Ting challenge so I can just look at my notepad here. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like 11 workouts. It doesn't seem like when I watched her video it doesn't seem like it's too hard but that's what they all look like. They look like it's so easy. So I'm just gonna, you know, listen to some music and knock this out.
笑。<笑>
I just did both of those without stopping. Ouch. <laughs> Whew, progress. So tell me, tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not it. Because there ain't nobody love you like I. Good morning and happy day five. I haven't gotten sore at all from this, so it's kind of questionable if it's like working or doing anything. I don't know. Because usually even with like the Chloe Ting workout, it was like a flat tummy challenge, but anytime I did little leg stuff, like my legs were sore and my butt was really sore. So I'm surprised that like I'm not sore. Like I feel the burden when I'm doing it. Like I haven't been sore. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Like I do. Okay, so at this point, we are done with the challenge. It is actually the day after that I'm filming this, so that way this video can get up ASAP for you guys so I can start my next challenge. And I will say that I feel a difference in my buttocks region before even looking at the before and after photos. I, of course, took my afters, but I haven't really looked at them side by side yet myself. And then not to be like weird or gross or like that, like I don't know how to do this without being weird because again, we're just talking about my butt, which I don't like. But I feel like it's like plumper, that it's like firmer. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't think that I gained like inches. Like I, my butt didn't go from like a this to a this like I didn't get like the pff, I don't think but I do feel like it just kind of like plumped it you know you know what I'm talking about <laughs> and as you guys can see in the footage this workout definitely burns like I never ended up getting sore like I said however it just burned every day that I did it the moves were hard and honestly like I would keep this workout like in my arsenal whenever I wanted to work on like my butt or something like that like I liked the workout but the important part is to see if there were actually results because I could like it all day but if nothing is really coming of it then like I don't want to waste my time so let's take a look at the afters being weird we're gonna take a look at my butt for a second so you guys can see like the actual like I don't know dimension of my butt this is weird I don't like it but I see a difference again I, I feel it but I also see it like I see it being just a little more like 
you know, like, like plump. Like I said, like, I feel like I see that, which I think is really cool to see. I will say that I've seen better results on other people's like YouTube videos. But again, I think one, they did it longer. And then two, I think they were also like just doing other things. You know what I mean? They were already like in shape. I don't know, but I do think that it gave me somewhat of a result. I'd be curious to see what would happen if I actually did do this for an entire month. Like I could of course keep doing this in addition to whatever challenge I choose to do for the rest of the two weeks to see what would happen. At least after two weeks, I would say my review of this is that it is hard. It burns and it does do something. I, at least maybe if you did it more or maybe if you changed your diet to like whatever you needed to do X, Y, Z things that I know nothing about. I at least felt firmer and plumper even after two weeks, which I guess is really cool. Like if that's something that you guys are looking to do, you know, add it to your list of like butt workouts whenever you guys are deciding to like what you're going to work on for the day. Cause I do think it had some interesting moves, like moves that I've never seen before, especially those like knee top things. Like I, again, I don't even know what those are doing. I still don't even know if I was doing them right, but they just had some cool workouts in there. So I, I liked it, but I will end this video in today's notable quotable, which comes from Pinterest, which I think speaks to me because this is something that like is really how my like journey started. And it reads motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. And I can definitely say that that's exactly what's going on right now because I say this every video, but now I know that when my alarm goes off, I'm going to go and work out. And it's not something that like, oh my God, I have to go work out. I don't want to work out. Obviously everybody has their days, but in January doing that 28 day challenge thing, I was not going into it looking to lose weight or get a flat stomach. I literally went into it just to get in the habit of working out every day. And I think I have successfully done that. And I can't wait to build better habits, more habits, more healthier habits, whatever it may be along the way. I really like that quote because motivation can really only get you so far. And then I want to like tack on the little asterisk of like being specific about what is motivating you, because I think that is really important on like how you actually go through that journey. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first half of March's workout challenge. Get ready for the second half. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet already. So that way you guys don't miss that video and future videos for future months. If you have a workout thing that you want me to try, please comment it down below because again, I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, let me know whose workout routines you want me to watch. What program do you want me to follow? Is there something specific you want me to do? Do you have a workout plan that you want me to do? Because I actually thought it'd be fun if one of these months I do workouts that like my subscribers send me that like, if you guys are avid working out people, like what workouts do you guys do? And I could try your workout routines. So if that's something that you do, like DM me on Instagram. If you have ideas for me, YouTubers want me to follow, whatever it may be. Or if you've been curious about something forever, like I'll try it for you. Let me know down below because I'm really excited for the next month to like do something bigger, better, all the things. But I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.